Coming up this week on Archer's Choice. He wore me to a frazzle. Oh my god. Dude, we just smoked that stud. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, like we told you last week, see, I'm going back from last week to this yeah, week. Yeah, you're going back. We are once again are going after the most sought after big game animal on this planet. And we ain't talking about cottontails or, or bunnies like it's that. White tailed. We're white tailed deer. That's right. And we're going to yes. head back to Illinois, our home state. Well, yes. Mm -hmm. Scotty and Jess. Yep. They're going to be hunting. And again, it goes back to the more effort you put forth before season. Yes. The rewards are going to be there, and really? putting in your HS food plot, us, you know, all of us putting in those plots and taking care of it, and, and you no know, no pain, just, no gain. No pain, no gain. Oh, okay, I was just checking. Is hey, this week's lucky logo. Yes. yes, this week's lucky logo. Delta the baby. That's right. Which is also going to help you get ready for season. Because practice, our practice, choice practice. World luck. So That's it right. turns, it pivots, and look it for keeps the logo. You, mm. And the show will tell you what to do with that. So should we head on to Illinois with Scotty? But we're in Illinois. <sighs> Heading out that uh, hot summer day to put that food plot in, it was uh, triple digits, very hot, humid. I was in a little remote area. The only way I could get in there was with a quad and small implements. Put a lot of extra effort into it and was able to get the winter forage in the ground. It paid off in the fall. So we're starting to get into prime time for the sit, and I decided to hit the rattle bag. 30 seconds later, here he comes, out into the field, sees my decoy, puts the big uh, posture on, and starts moving in. He's 40 yards and closing fast. Circling downwind, it's gonna give me a perfect 15 to 20 yard chip shot. Dude, we just smoked a stud. 
I tell you, <laughs> this hunting stuff is crazy. I knew the shot was good. It was tight behind the shoulder, and I've seen what those Spitfires will do. The deer ran off about 40 yards, stopped and looked back, trying to figure out what had just happened. Uh, he stumbled just a little bit at the edge of the field and fell just out of sight. Oh my God. I tell you, this hunting stuff is crazy. We're definitely having fun now. Spitfire, it's the first time using them this year. I've always been a Hellraiser fan. These Spitfires are unbelievable. Oh, I'm excited. We did it. First night out. Decoy, food plot, and a Hoyt. We put the Hoyt on them. Way to go, Scotty. Good job, nice deer. See, yeah. w what was it? Proper practice, per no, no. We're planning, no, it's perfect practice, no. No, yeah. it, but great performance, I think, right? Great. Absolutely. And that's Scotty, and that's all the guys and girls, you know what I mean? You know, put all that effort in and absolutely. look what camps. Using stealth cameras yep. has been really beneficial for him in all this hunting, too. Now, because Illinois resident, you can take two bucks. Right. He's not wasting too much time. He's going to get back in the stand just a few days later and yeah, well. because, well, he's with the stealth cam, he spotted another buck. Yeah, he spotted yeah. a few. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. Welcome to a windy northwest Illinois. It's uh, November 3rd, and I've got my buddy Jamie running camera at night. It's uh, a little warm, definitely windy, but we got a cold front moving in. Pressure's off though. Filmed my first buck tag a week ago. I actually came in yesterday and put this stand up for a buddy of mine, Jess Johnson's coming down now maybe next week. I figured, why not give it a try? Get it warmed up for him. reading. Here's the crazy thing. You know, a lot of us all, we all wear our rubber boots. And the crazy thing is, is in a lot of the traveling, you don't have, you, you just can't pack everything you want. Boot dryers is one of them. Well, here's a tip. Take regular old newspaper. After the morning or the evening hunt, take that newspaper, stuff it down in your toes, get them all in there, take a few, get it all here. You would be amazed. The next morning you go pull the newspaper out, the newspaper is going to be wet, your boot's going to be dry. The other crazy thing, anything we buy today has a silica gel. Well, guess what? This silica gel, start saving them, throw them in a zip, Ziploc bag. When you start to get a nice bunch of them, turn around, put them in an old sock, tie the sock up, do the same thing. Throw that silica gel in there in the evening, wake up the next morning, your boots are going to be dry. That is your bow hunting world tip of the week. Fast. 
Shot's got me a little nervous, but I think he crashed just out of sight over the hill. We're gonna sit here for the full 30 minutes, maybe longer. Man, I hope, please, Lord. <gasps> okay, that uh, hour turned into an hour and a half. Just decided, uh, let's just wait a little bit longer. I'm pretty confident uh, that I got him in the heart, even though the shot was forward. I'm, I'm pretty sure I heard him crash, but no sense pushing it. Uh, if he's down over there, he's not going anywhere. So it was a long hour and a half to sit in the truck, but uh, we're back. We're about 50 yards from the stand. We're gonna go see if we can pick up a blood trail. We had a, we had a really cool night. Uh, you know, it all started, uh, Shane was supposed to be filming tonight and uh, he had some company coming a day early, so he missed out. And uh, his loss is your gain, huh? Oh yeah. We, we had a great night. This uh, I actually just came in and put this stand up yesterday. Jess Johnson uh, from Wisconsin is coming down to hunt with me next week. and. Uh, I put this stand up just for him, and uh, I figured, why not, uh, why not go out and uh, warm it up for him? And uh, this was our fourth buck we saw. We actually had one at like eight yards, a little chip shot, nice nine pointer, but uh, not the quality deer I was looking for. This is what I was looking for. Wow, Scotty! Wow, way to go! But did you did you catch what he said? What? Okay, he gets up in that stand and he goes, you know, I got Jess coming in, one of our posse members. I got Jess coming in in a couple days and I put the stand in for him. But I'm gonna warn, I'm gonna test it out now. Nice, Scotty. Well, now we'll get into <laughs> Jess's hunt. I see how you're doing it. So now we're getting to Jess's hunt, which I guess he's gonna be hunting in a secondary stand because Scotty took his first stand. Could be third even. Yeah, who knows? The Scotty's first stand shot that Scotty yeah, shot good probably point. was the first one for Jess, Absolutely. then the second one, so well, now he know, said, hey, I'll just nice throw, friend. let's just throw Jess in the corner here. Nice friend. Wow, mm -hmm. Scott. Mm -hmm. Ooh. There are certain things that can make your hunt so unique and decoying is one of them. You know, Jess puts, they put their decoy out, they spray him down with HS sent away. I mean, they got, everything's perfect and this little buck comes in and well, um, Bound, chicka, bound, bound, chicka, bound, bound, boom.
and here she comes. She's just walking through, and Jess and Scotty behind the camera, man, they know what can happen. The best, absolute, freshest scent that you could get was right there. That buck is right there, and he's watching every move she makes. This is it. This is what you've waited for the whole year, and all you got to do is hope. And the guys were hoping and praying that everything worked. this deer. Look at this deer, Scotty. Oh, get them out of the way. Oh my, what a nice deer. I tell you what, we, uh, we worked really hard this week to get this, this guy. Look at, he's got a kicker here. Oh, I'll tell you what, that persistence pays off. We've been, hunt we've been at it all week. Scott invited me down here into Illinois and, and uh, We've been going at it. I was gonna go home Thursday night and uh, called home and said, is it all right if I stay? The weather's gonna change. We think some things are gonna move a little bit better. And, and it happened. I mean, I'm going, I was gonna go home tomorrow after the morning's hunt and, and I don't have to get up early now. So, man, what a beautiful deer. I have to thank Scotty. Uh, Scott Wolf has stuck with me. He's already tagged out and uh, he stuck with me. He's uh, he filmed for me all week, and I appreciate it. And I thank my wife and uh, son for putting up with me being gone, and, and Ralph and Vicki for the great opportunity. Man, what an awesome day. Hey, Jess, was that cool? And what a shot, bud. The third, 40 yards? Yeah, and the third stand doesn't seem so bad. I'm going to ask Scotty if I can have his fourth stand this year. I'd like to take the fifth, then. You should take the fifth, by all means. Absolutely, but you guys did great, and I mean, all the food plots, all the HS food plots, everything that Scott did to get everything prepared for that, that was great. That's it. Proof's in the pudding. You know what's really cool is to see Jess's emotion. This and, and I mean, because he, they all work so, everybody works so hard, and when it finally comes together and to make a phenomenal shot. Not to mention that he's missed a few times in the past. I, Jess, I wasn't going to say a word, brother. It probably helps out that that really, that emotion. Man. He was like, I hit him. Oh my, oh. Hey, this week's lucky logo is Delta. If you happen to see it, you need to log on to archerschoice.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out the information, and someone's going to win some great stuff from Delta. Oh, yeah. It targets to stop all your arrows. Next week, Next week, we're going to head up due north. Way up north. Way north. Ken Ganglers, Canadian subarctic. And you know what was really cool? I have my own angels. Ralph's angels. Ralph's angels next week with Ralph bear hunting up in you Manitoba. Know you, you know you've made it. You know you've made it when you have your own angels. Did like you really consider us angels? Did you really consider us angels? 
I, okay, I'll take we'll, the we'll, fifth yeah, again. There you go. Take the fifth. There you go. We want to thank you for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.